In today's video, I'll be showing us two of the easiest fully automatic XP farms for the latest edition of Minecraft Java. These two farms are perfect for any survival world and also require very little resources. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get straight to it. And this first farm is actually super, super simple and perfect for anyone who just started a brand new survival world. To build this farm, you'll need six chests, six hoppers, two furnaces of any kind. It can be smokers, blast furnace, or normal furnaces. It all depends on what you want to smelt and then two levers. So go ahead and grab those. So basically how this farm works is that you put in some extra items that you have to smelt and then depending on the item, some give a lot of XP, some don't, but depending on that, over time the more items you smelt, the more XP gets stored in the furnace. So after a couple minutes, when you take it out, you get all of the XP at once. I recommend you guys using cactus because it's easy to find, easily farmable, and gives you guys a lot of XP. Plus of course you can cook it in a smoker and it smelts them a lot faster, but potatoes also work too. They give a little bit less XP and are a little bit harder to get, but the good thing with these is that you can actually eat them and get XP. So on the side, it can be used as a good source of food. And if you guys wish, you can also do any types of wood. They give you decent XP, and when you smelt them, you get charcoal, so you can actually use this farm indefinitely that way. So go ahead and grab the items of choice. So for me, I like cactus. So to build it, just place down a double chest into the ground like this, and then place two hoppers going to the behind like so. Now on top of those two hoppers, place down your furnace of choice. And now while we're still here, place down a lever on top of each one. Now place two hoppers on either side of these furnaces, and then finally two more on top. Now place a chest on top of each one of these hoppers, and that's actually the construction complete. Now I'll show you how you can use it. So firstly, grab some coal or any fuel of your choice, and then place them into these chests. Now once you've selected which item you want to smelt to get the XP, just place it up here and it'll automatically get sorted into these furnaces. So just like that, each one should get an even amount of items. And now I'll show you how you can take out the XP. So I've let about just 26 items smelt, and now if you want to take out the XP, just flick these levers like this, and then you have to wait for one of these cactuses to smelt. And once that happens, pick it up like that from both sides, and boom, we're already up to level 3, and that's just from under a minute and about 30 cactuses. And obviously guys, the longer you wait and the more items you let smelt, the way more XP you get. And as you guys can see in this case, I've waited for about 9 stacks of cactus to smelt, and then once you've locked up the furnaces and take out the cactus from each one, in total I got 21 levels just after a couple minutes. So if you have a good source of cactus and 15 to 20 minutes, all you have to do is put the cactus in, wait for a bit, and take out the XP when you're back, and that's it. And now moving on to the second one, which actually follows a similar concept, but is actually fully automatic instead. Although it requires a bit more resources, this one's fully automatic, and all you need to do is AFK to get all all the XP you need. To build this farm, you'll need one chest, one furnace, two hoppers, one lever, a bucket of water, about 28 blocks of your choice, 22 stairs, and about a stack of glass blocks. And guys, this is actually optional. So guys, you don't have to use glass blocks. If you want, you can just even use cobblestone. It's up to you. And then to build one layer of the cactus farm, you'll need nine cactuses, nine sand, nine solid blocks, and six fences. And this is all for just one layer. So if you guys just want to add more layers, just multiply these numbers with however many you want to build and just get that many resources. So yeah, go ahead and grab all these materials. So to get started building the farm, place down your chest right here and then make your way to the behind of the chest and then place in a hopper now while crouching on top of the hopper place down your furnace and then while still crouching place down a lever on the furnace like this and then now placing your last hopper on the top of the furnace and now you can grab your solid blocks and then go out by three blocks on either side once you've done that you're going to want to extend this out by six more blocks so you should have a seven by seven square go ahead and fill this in just like that your platform should be complete now if this is the front side of our farm go to the bottom right and left and then place in a temporary block on both sides and then build a three block high wall all the way around Once you guys are done building the wall all the way around, grab your water bucket and then place them on either one of our temporary blocks. And if you guys did everything correctly, the water should flow like this and our hopper should be the only block that is not covered by the water. Once you're done with that, you can remove these temporary blocks. Now with our stairs, place them along right here on top of the wall. the purpose of the stairs is that if you guys have a lot of layers to prevent the amount of cactus that falls onto the side because if you guys use stairs and some items fall onto the edge like this they actually just bounce off the edge and go into our water stream 
But yeah, once you guys are done building the basin, we can move on to building the cactus farm itself. To do that, make your way inside the basin and then place a temporary block right here and then a solid block like so. Now what you guys are going to want to do is alternate between temporary and solid like this two times and then get rid of these temporary blocks. So you should end up with three blocks like this. Go ahead and repeat that until you guys reach the other end of the basin. And once you guys are done, in total, you should have about nine platforms. So just repeat this all the way around. And boom, just like that, those are our nine blocks. Now on top of each one, place a sand block. And then your cactus like this. And now to automatically harvest the cactus as soon as they grow, place down a temporary block like this, and then a fence to the center like so. Repeat that for each one of these cactuses. And guys, these three fences will actually automatically harvest these two cactuses. So we just need to do one more on the other side. And boom, just like that, one layer is all complete. So if you guys want to build more layers, all you have to do is place a temporary block on top of the cactus like this, and then your solid block, and get rid of our temporary block. And now you can just go ahead and repeat the steps that we just did, and boom, we have another layer. And if you guys are wondering what two layers looks like, it looks like this, and the more layers you have, the faster the farm is. And as you guys can see right here, as soon as the cactus grows, they'll be automatically harvested, and then all of the cactus will directly flow into our hoppers like that. And that's actually the construction complete. Now I'll show you how you can get the xp from this far so all you guys have to do is just afk right here and wait for the cactus to grow and automatically get smelted and once you guys get enough cactus to smelt so as you guys can see right now it's only about one and a half stacks so there's actually very little cactus that has been smelted get the xp all you have to do is flick this lever and then wait for one cactus to smelt and when it's smelted like that all you have to do is take it out like this and boom just like that we're already up to level seven and that is just from one and a half stacks of cactus we shouldn't take too long to get so if you guys afk here for a couple hours or overnight you should be able to get an entire stack of cactus smelted and then when you take out the xp you should get a whole bunch of it and yeah guys that's it those are two of the easiest xp farms for the latest edition of minecraft java